Pretty happy with the, the overall game from the team. Yeah, liked it a lot. I thought great, you know, good first period and second period might have been our most complete period of the year. Now, I thought our checking game, getting back above pucks, turning pucks over in the neutral zone, getting them back in, keeping them on three quarter ice, I thought it was outstanding. We talked this morning about you know, kind of going into the break with a good taste in your mouth that that game check box. Well, that'll do it, yeah. I mean, from the goaltender out, I just thought we had to, we had like the detail. I mean, that's what it's supposed to look like from from our standpoint, you know. And and uh, to sort of dig in the last couple of games after a disappointing loss and get two really good uh, victories at home, I think it's you know that's what we want. And we just got to remind the guys when we come back on the twenty seventh on just how it looks when we do it right. I mean, the second period is a template of how we should and want to play. You talk a lot about the depth. Miles Wood obviously doesn't get on the score sheet, but has that big hit. He makes that nice play to Ross Colton when he was on the breakaway. Yeah. Uh, all of Sam O'Connor, Cogliano, just kind of what you think of their game? They were, they were great. You know, I mean, they, those guys have been digging in, and um, but whenever they can chip in like that offensively, like Olsen has a goal and on a, a great pass from Cogliano, um, then he sets up Manson, um, et cetera, et cetera. You know, like it, Col uh, Colton and Wood, they made a huge impact in the game. You know, Wood draws that penalty. We still get the scoring chance out of it. Physical. I mean, I, I like those guys a lot tonight. Over the, yeah. over the weekend, it was 18 game, game point streak. Is there a commonality that you can see? Is there anything in point two with him? No, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, he does, he does it all, right? So it's hard to like just pick something that's standing out in this, in, you know, like I guess they're they're executing at a high rate. He's executing at a high rate. Um, his line mates are playing great. So, I mean, I, can, I mean, I can't just pick out one thing. I, if I had to just say one thing to be able to go 18 games, it's consistency. Right, it's getting to a high level and being able to stay there for a long period of time. You guys scored eight power play goals in three games. Didn't get one tonight, but was that as good as the power plays have been? I mean, it, it's been it's been dangerous. It was dangerous tonight, you know, and uh, I don't know how many we had. Yeah, just two. So I mean, the the, the one in the second period was a really good power play. Um, we're getting some looks. Some nights they go in, sometimes they don't. But I like the way they're moving it around, and like it's different options. I like our power play when I see Kale shoot it, and Miko shoot it, and Max shoot it. We use the middleman. We get some screens, tips, rebounds. We're retrieving it. It's like work based, and yet the 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 danger is spread out through five guys. It's not as predictable. Byron Squall came shortly after that first power play opportunity. Yeah. For him, is there still something more out of, out of him in offensive production that you're hoping to see moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I, again, it's just like you got to be involved, right? He's got to help drive play. I think that's when he plays his best, when he's involved up the ice and making those types of reads and decisions. He's been really dangerous this year, like jumping up as the fourth man like he did in that one uh, and picking his spot. So, yeah, they, I guess, you know, if I can see that a little bit more, the more we see it, the better off we're going to be. Oh, yeah. Had an outstanding game tonight. Yeah. Um, was there anything that really, really stood out for you? I mean, other than just being. Hey, no, I mean, I can. I'd have to watch his game real close, but I, he just looks sharp, focused. I mean, uh, top of the crease all the time. Like their their most dangerous chances for me came like in the third period on a couple of those uh, plays that guys are walking in we had a d trip in the neutral zone you know it's a one off and they the guy walks it right in um a couple breakdowns in d zone where guys are walking it into real dangerous areas but when i you know when i see him coming in there and i see gorgie right at the top of the crease and he's scooping him up that, i mean he just looks sharp and ready kind of knew where where the puck was going before before it happened. A few last ones, please. Andrew Cogliano comes back from the lineup, alleviates some of the minutes from the PK, and contributes in a big way. How is he sort of a blueprint for the habits that you need to see from this group? And is it any coincidence that it's a pretty good formula for the game when he returns to the lineup? I don't think it's a coincidence. I think every one of those guys, like the, it's not just like that we have a handful of guys out. It's what those guys mean to our team. You know, like those guys, you know, some of the guys that out, they do a lot for us in different 
scenarios, right? And Cogs with the PK, with his work ethic, just like the holding players accountable, the leadership. It, you know, it starts in the room two hours or three hours before the game, and it's carried out until the job's finished. So I think it's easy for players to kind of look at how he's operating and what he's saying. So that, that always helps. Um, but I like having him back because, like in, in so many different ways, but the penalty kill, especially then I don't have to use Val so much, you know, I can, and those guys, are, like they, they take a lot of pride in our penalty kill details and our checking details at five on five. So it's just another shift where you're watching guys go, going out and doing it the right way. Does it help that you're playing them again after this break? So it kind of helps put the film. Yeah, it helps for me. I don't have to watch and I don't have to break this down and then spend another five hours on a new opponent you know there's a lot to look at from that game that we really like so we'll sell that on uh 27th morning and get ready to go and try and do it again josh manson had last one Kai, please josh manson had three shots on goal tonight obviously one got in was there something different about his game that he saw tonight he was active up in the rush as well you know it, it, it Sometimes our D, I find, are leery to shoot in ozone play. Like we get it up there, we go to work uh, down low off a four check. We're grinding down there. We get it up to our D, and and then they either want to pass it or rim it back down. You know, <laughs> I'd rather see guys step and shoot and cause havoc at the net by crashing the net. And um, you know, we we do have a possession game mentality, which is fine. But sometimes I think you got to shoot it, and good things happen. And you know, that's. But his goal is off the rush and getting active, same as Bo. It was like very similar plays. We had a couple other really dangerous plays that looked the same. Um, it's so hard to create offense now that you have to have those guys jumping up and being part of it. They do it all the time. We do it all the time. Every every team in the league is trying to do it. Today we get rewarded for it. Thanks, sir. All right, thank you. Thanks,